SCP-378, aka Brainworms. Notice from the Foundation Records and Information Security Administration. Following the implementation of the Kraken Protocol on June 27, 1963, containment procedures for SCP-378 have been updated. Personnel assigned to SCP-378 project are to review its updated documentation as soon as possible. Claudia Southey, Director Riza. Item SCP-378, Object Class Thumayo. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-378 is to be contained in a subterranean entity containment terrarium. Temperature and humidity, humidity are to be maintained at levels optimal for the growth and habitation of Heterodermia kingcrow, aka the Utica Cave Lichen, and Prenolepis. Everettman, aka the North American Cave Ant. Twice per year, SP-378 is to undergo medical and psychological examination. Access to 378's containment terrarium is separated from the surrounding facility by a decontamination chamber. Handling personnel are required to wear full body protection and must be screened for Dash A prior to exiting decontamination. Infected personnel are to be terminated unless, unless the position of Dash 1 or, or Dash 3 is vacant. Right. Oh, hey! Oh, god damn it, I was muting Discord. Yes, you were. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're doing the, uh, the brain worms. Very nice. Yeah. Um, we're, we're able to hear you through the whole thing because... On stream they were able to hear me. But I forgot to unmute in Discord. Well, yeah, I'm only asking because before I joined Discord, I had Twitch up. And like a few seconds before I joined Discord, I had the sound on in Twitch. And it had the, like, starting soon thing. That's... I mean, now I see you, but... Yeah, that was we That's weird. But anyways, um, they actually... Jerry, they actually did SCP-020, the Unseen Mold, really well. I'm gonna show you in VC uh, chat. The only major problem was the thumbnail. For zero two zero, the unseen mold. It's it's the only reason it got a lower percentage than it, it would have if they used a regular thumbnail. As you can see. This is a different SCP than the the one we're doing now. Yeah. yeah. As you can see in the in the thumbnail, it's bad, but the video actually wasn't that bad. They probably only did well because the article is really short. So they went to a short article and left it alone. <laughs> huh. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, I guess I'll go through it again. Because you aren't here. Right. Hey. Item SCP-378. Object Class Thumayo. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-378 is to be contained in a subterranean entity containment terrarium. Temperature and humidity are to be maintained at levels optimal for the growth and habitation of... Heterodermia king crow, aka the Utica cave lichen, and Prenolepis everettman, aka the North American cave ant. Twice per year, 
SB-378 is to undergo a medical and psychological examination. XS-378's containment terrarium is separated from the surrounding facility by a decontamination chamber. Handling personnel are required to wear full body protection and must be screened for Dash A prior to exiting decontamination. Evicted personnel are to be terminated un unless the position of Dash 1 or Dash 3 is vacant, in which case they are to be assigned to the relevant position instead. As of the adaption of the Kraken Protocol, SCP-378's containment is focused on maintaining its three primary containment components. SCP-378-1 is housed in the Area 19 barracks. Dash 1 is employed as a maintenance technician with a security clearance of 0-A19. Upon the death of the current Dash 1 brain dead or comatose, reserve personnel may be elected to replace it. As Dash 1 is, prim is the primary means of communication with 378, cameras must be maintained to keep Dash 1's vocal functions in working order. SB-378-2 currently takes the form of David Lockheed, a 36-year-old Caucasian male and the employee of the American Supernatural Containment Initiative as a, as a clerical aide. To maintain the continued operations of the SB Foundation in the United States, Dash 2 has been tasked with sabotaging ASCI operations against the Foundation, as well as collecting information in the Foundation's interests. Nash 2 is expected to follow a strict health and exercise regimen due to the inherent difficulty in replacing it. <laughs> SB-378-3 currently takes the form of Lisa Martin, a 33-year-old Mexican-American female employee at the Spicy Crust Pizza in Staten Island. In the event of Dash 3's death, it must be replaced as soon as possible. Each component is fitted with a tracking device and an audio recorder. Each week, embedded agents stationed near each component are to evaluate the health and integrity of each component and its associated surveillance equipment. The utilization of Dash A and further infiltration is pending Foundation Overwatch approval. Description SV378 is an arthropod superficially resembling a deformed larval instance of Sco Scoliopendra gigantea, aka the Amazonian giant centipede. 378's legs are largely vestigial, apparently meant to assist in per peristaltic locomotion. 378 measures... Peristaltic locomotion. Huh? What is... Parastatic locomotion. I don't know. It, it it doesn't state what it is. I'm looking it up. Eh. I guess I'll keep going. This oh, it's huh? in the involuntary wave-like contraction and relaxation of muscles in the digestive tract that moves food through the body. Oh. Neat. Anyways, SCP-378 measures 3 meters from the mouth to anus with a bodily thickness of 1 meter and a weight of 233 kilograms. Under normal conditions, SCP-378 oh, is a- Oh, oh, there's a, there's a second, there's a second definition that is less creepy. Ah. A common locomotive pattern in elongated soft body did vertebrae. Ah, that makes more sense. Yeah, SCP-378 is an omnivore, with a diet consisting primarily of lichen and insects. 378 is capable of asexual reproduction at will, producing instances of Dash A from its anus. Instances of Dash A resemble adult Scoliopendria gigantea. Dissection suggests this resemblance is superficial, as dash A lack expected organ systems beyond a primitive neural network. Instances of dash A are controlled remotely by 378. 
Dash A are obligate endoparasites infecting advanced primates such as humans. Homo ignotus. Footnote is data expunged. Okay. <laughs> and Gigantopithecus sapiens, aka the common Sasquatch. Upon infection, 378-A integrates itself with its host nervous system through poorly understood means, inducing brain death and extending 378's remote control to its host itself. Vital functions and sensory input remain unaffected. Wait a minute, does that mean it implies that it would infect SCP-1000? Oh wait. Oh wait, never mind. I, I, I'll keep reading. <laughs> Upon infecting a suitable host, 378 will attempt to reintegrate its host into their respective species, social sphere. Once integrated, 378 directs its host to indefinitely engage in the behaviors typical for its species, such as com communal labor and social recreation. Human hosts prefer environments with a high population density and a robust entertainment scene. The upper limit of active hosts 378 can maintain at one time is unknown. Upon initial interrogation, 378 confessed to the existence of 26 human hosts, as well as two instances of Alulata Pigra, aka the Guatemalan Black Howler, and three instances of SAP 1000. Oh, <laughs> about that yeah of which it noted had been acquired during a period of heavy intoxication addendum 178-264b a psychological evaluation of of 378 conducted by dr simon glass tentatively designed a uh, tentatively designated scoliopendra anomalia 378 is a new, unique among arthropods, possess, possessing either human levels of sapience or the ability to emulate host's intellectual faculties. In any case, 378 is self-aware and remarkably intelligent. 378's relationship to its host is complicated, while 378 maintains the existence sense of identity across multiple hosts. Each is is treated as a persona for 378 to roleplay. Hosts rarely interact with 378 or fellow hosts, suggesting 378 primarily utilizes its anomalous abilities for entertainment. This is further suggested by 378's readiness to abandon such personas under duress. Hold on, what the fuck? I got an email about something. Oh shit, I got a Twitch paycheck. No. Sorry, I, I got sidetracked. <laughs> I think that's my ADHD mind. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Uh, da -da 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 Aside from integration into human, human social spheres, host behavior is largely unique to each instance. Extroversion is relatively common. Hosts rarely isolate themselves except to sleep or execute... SCP-378 appears to take equal enthusiasm in stressful versus pleasant situations. Of note, 378 is particularly attached to the identity of Lisa Martin in contrast to other hosts. Lisa Martin's weekly routine is relatively static. From 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on all days except Saturday, Miss Martin will show up to work at the nearest pizzeria from the former location of Chichenio Natonio's pies, regardless of employment status or scheduled hours. For 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. on all days except Saturday, Miss Martin will engage in the maintenance of one of the 17 rooftop gardens across the city of New York. Of these, 13 are maintained by a cooperative 12, of which Martin is not a part of. From 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. On, sa on Saturdays, Miss Martin alternates between socializing with a collection of friends, co-workers, and lovers, and playing piano for various high-end bars. From 11 p.m. to 12 a.m., Miss Martin will shower and prepare for bed. 
Her spirit will sleep from 12 a.m. to 7 a.m. when she will wake up and prepare for the next cycle. In the event of Miss Martin's death, 378 will direct another host to assume her identity. Attempts to interrupt Miss Martin's routine have been unilaterally met with unusual levels of hostility from 378 and its host. From D. Hayden at SCIP Net. Did you say something, Jerry? Oh, I was just thinking. Okay. Assistant Director Dania Daniela Hayden, classification level Ryza 4, employee number 134, to Dur 19 underscore K Feinstein at SCIP Net. Director Kelsey Feinstein, classification level XK-4, employee number 87. Re-re-re-re-identifying current host. Date, April 27th, 1963. Director Feinstein, Ms. Song and Dr. Glass's work have, have revealed quite a bit about 378. Most importantly, I do not believe it understands the significance of social dynamics, especially in regards to hierarchy and social capital. Several of 378's identities held surprising positions of power. Indeed, two of them, David Lockheed and Alfonso Leos, who are beyond reach of the Foundation's current capacity to contain. Despite this, 378 has shown a willingness to sacrifice such hosts in order to defend, replace, or otherwise maintain Lisa Martin. Odd, yes, but useful enough. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to Miss Martin and her friends, were it not? 378 is sapient, but, but it by no means understands the significance of its actions. With a little bit of persuasion, David Lockheed might yet ascend from petty paper pusher for the ace. ASCI, right where the Foundation most needs a puppet. And if I'm not mistaken, Spicy Crust Pizza could always do with a second franchise. Proposal. Employing 378's anomalous abilities to defend Foundation operations in the United States. Council vote summary. On the yay side, 0501, 0503, 0504, 0506, 0507, 0508, 0510, 0512, 0513, on nay, 052, 055, 059, and abstain, 0511. Status approved. also accepted. The Kraken Protocol has been initiated. From S Song 1 at SCIP Net, Senior Researcher Sang Hong Song, Classification Level. Gamma U-3, employee number 148, to Dur19 underscore K Feinstein at SCIP Net. Director Kelsey Feinstein, classification level XK-4, employee number 87. Re delays in the Gamma U-2677 project, date July 21st, 1965. So, good news and bad news, Director. Good news, as I'm assuming you already heard, with the plans for construction of Site 56, all things to a certain Mr. Lockheed, the Kraken Protocols getting a much needed expansion. With this relative proximity to both the Lily of the Valley Nexus and the Pacific Northwest, it's a perfect opportunity to expand the scope of SB1000's containment while ensuring S ASCI doesn't suck. LOTV dry before we get to it. For all of its oddities, SP378 appears to be delighted in the prospect of a change in scenery. I can't imagine a tropical centipede grub likes having a sphere of influence limited to New England of all places. But that's beside the point. Its dash A was compliant enough on the way there, which leads me to the bad news. Rupert Tremont's a fun little guy, agent of the FBI, unofficial, unusual incidents unit. And all too stupid to trust Agent Ryans with his drink while he went to the restroom. After that, it's a matter of transport back to the professional Area 56, 
and black rock and a centipede down the gullet. Problem comes up when 378 tells us it can't establish a connection. Now Tremont's still alive, so that's not normal. We, we run a number of tests to try to figure out what went wrong. And that's when we see a different centipede in his head, where our centipede usually goes. More to come, but I have a bad feeling about this. And that's it. Yeah. So they have a lot of characters this time. Yes, they do. Even a, a, a second centipede we know nothing about whatsoever. Only yeah. that it was probably controlling that person's mind. But we don't know. Because it's not 378. Yep, yeah, and let me just get the thumbnail so you can see it there you go <laughs> we can already tell they're gonna make it aggressive also looking at what you've done so far was i just in really bad luck every time i came no, I was there for a few of the nicer ones. I wasn't there for the 50% or the 45. I was yeah. there for a 25 and a 30, two thirties. It was mainly the thumbnails and the um, gore and violence and it deviated from the plot that it got fucked up on. Uh, I would say this is a three. Yeah. It's a clickbait, but the it, the centipede does go in the brain. Yeah, they're gonna make it, it aggressive. People's face. It people aren't cutting it out of people's brains, but it does go up the head. Yeah. Oh yeah, I meant to tell you something. You're gonna see something at the beginning of this video. I'm gonna. All right, you ready, Jerry? Yeah. You see this? Caution: disturbing content is and Consider yourself warned. They did not include this on the, um, I forget which number, but it was on the beehive one. You did the beehive? Well, it was, it was where the, the woman, it, it affects women mainly. That one. Yeah. And, um. Yes, queen bee. Yeah, queen bee. And, yeah, they, they showed the scene. They, they censored it a bit, but they showed the scene where she attacks the guy and gets down dirty. <laughs> they did that, and they didn't have this. <laughs> Your thoughts? Yeah. Well... As someone who is a large fan of Queen Bee, I would not expect that to be on the child of anything. Yeah. I do not consider Queen Bee to be a child appropriate SVP. No. What would you say? Yeah, no. There we go. But th th these videos are meant for children. Anyways, let's get on. Permission to terminate. Denied. Re-requesting. Permission to terminate. Denied. Permission to terminate. With the utmost importance. With the utmost importance? It's not dangerous. In fact, it's downright fuck? friendly. How would you have even the slightest clue that this thing is... So sociable. Both men turned to see. Oh, my God. Did they just add sex into it? They've been doing that, Jerry. <laughs> Spoken. Ah, thank you for joining us. My pleasure, Dr. Claus and James Chen. Do we know each other? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. No, you haven't. You call me first lieutenant. Or Chen. Only my mother gets to call me James. Interesting. Just as you said, Dr. Claus. Very strong self-defense mechanisms in this one. Can we help you with something? Do you need instructions how to find the storeroom? 
We're busy here. We don't need any assistance from you dealing with the Thaumiel class SCP. Oh, unless you seem to think you have some special insight? Jeez, Chen. In fact, I do. She stepped forward and opened her mouth. From within, a large centipede-like creature was what? visible. That's, that's not how it works. Welcome back. No, it Today doesn't. I bring you SCP-378, Brain Worm. What Don't the forget fuck? to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Kloss moved the organism around on the table, poking and prodding it. Could you... could you stop? That's disgusting. Just a centipede. Yeah, a centipede that crawls into your head, eats your brain, and takes over your body under the orders of a fat worm in a cave. Larva. Kloss looked up at Chen. It's a larva, undeveloped and mutated, but a centipede-like larva. Fine. And you? You're what? Its translator? I am it. We are one and the same. She's part of a neural network controlled by SCP-378. Kloss looked at SCP-378-1. He had something similar stuck in the back of his neck not long ago. I had what now? Kloss winked at the woman. Rupert Tremont was the target, an agent of the FBI's unofficial That's near the end of the article. unit. It was a potential threat to the Foundation. They needed someone on the inside, I and Agent Tremont was an easy target. What was that? I have to use the restroom. You want me to wait for you? Please. I'll be, I'll be back as fast as possible. Okay, yeah. We can go ahead and intermission. In three, two, one. A couple beers, and they'd have him. It wasn't like they hadn't done it before. SCP-378 had been discovered and taken into the Foundation's containment during the 60s, at the heights of the Cold War. Its what? abilities to control humans what? made it the perfect spy. The two men approached each other in what? the bitter winter night. What? Seriously, why here? Right in the open and all, and in the dead of winter. You Americans. Who would expect two top-level agents to meet in Red Square? Even in USSR, KGB tries to remain somewhat discreet. The Where did this come from? knows it's us, but nobody knows it's us. Understand, comrade? Yeah, yeah. Follow me. I'm freezing my toes off. They walked into the hangar. It was dark and smelled of cigarette smoke and diesel fumes. As the doors shut behind the two men, the lights flickered to life. There were SCP agents all around them, surrounding them on all sides. What is this? You said it would be only the two of us. What is going on? Relax, Hi. Ivan. The plan's still the same. They walked him over to a table in the middle what of the, the hangar. What the fuck is happening? Inside a large vial oh, was a three, creature. Three. Just so you know, I looked it up to see if there was anything to this. No results. So this is literally pulled out of their ass. There is no article about them being spies or anything. The SCP was never a brainworm spy. Yeah. Then again, it never really seems like something they were interested in the first place. I think they just want to live. Yeah. Yes, let's keep going. Resembling a centipede. You see? Nothing to worry about. Remember, you're the double agent here. We're just your friendly American handlers. Mmm, da, fine. I still don't understand why so many agents. And this worm is bigger than you say. This will be difficult to smuggle into KGB headquarters. But I have the perfect person to put this little guy into. Good. Good. But I think you're right, Ivan. It is too big to smuggle in, and I have the perfect person, too. The agents grabbed him and pinned him to the table. The last thing he saw... It's supposed to be one meter long, right? Let's see, let's go back. Dash one. Let's see, dash. Let's see. Growth, habitation, blah, blah, blah. Surveillance, blah. Let's see. 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 Let's
Oh, wait. Oh, this is still special containment procedures. I'm an idiot. Uh, let's see. Dash A host nervous system. Let's see. Is this from Venus? So just the resemblance to professional like operating system from Netflix. Blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to see where it says its size. Anywhere it's place anywhere. Oh, it measures up to three meters from that. Oh yeah. With a thickness of one meter. Oh wait, that's the 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 main body. Yeah, that's the big one. Okay, that's. So these don't actually have an. It doesn't have a stated size. But I would assume it has the same size. Oh, wait, they resemble an adult Sociolopendra gigantea. So okay, they're... let me look those up. I yeah. know, uh, I know, uh, gigantea doesn't mean it's over a meter long because that looks over a meter long. Yeah. <laughs> and how many centipedes are that big? I don't think they're that many. <laughs> Granted, I have actually held um one that was almost two meters. Because they took a bunch of animals to a library to help kids understand animals and stuff. And I got to held, hold one. They named it Jerry. I forgot what species it was. I mean, I was a child. It like a very chill centipede. Yeah. All right, so those are about 30 centimeters, which translates to 12 inches. So a foot. That, that is way bigger than a foot. <laughs> and they don't look that thick either. Yeah. Would, you, would you like to see a picture? Sure. I think this is the best picture to show as an example because, well, we all know those things oh. are exactly thick. It looks almost as thick as that that foot stick thing. I forgot what they're, the measuring stick. I know it has a word for it. My yeah. brain is fried. A ruler? But either way, those things are not that tall and not that thick. We yeah. all see those things. So, yeah. It looks thick in the picture, but that's because it's next to something that isn't thick either. Yeah. So they're they're not that, that thing should definitely not look that big or that thick. Oh it's yeah. Like half the thickness and probably around half that size. Oh oh yeah, Cheery. I'm not sure if you noticed, but it added like two new characters keep happening a lot, which is Chen and Klaus. You're gonna see them in every video. Oh, yeah, those characters are probably their way of inserting themselves into <laughs> the SCP. Yeah, so here's the thing. In the previous one, they took an SCP that wasn't even in the article, start asking it for information on the SCP that, that they're trying to do, and the SCP does a Chinese joke towards Chen. <laughs> yeah, and you also missed, I think it was the last SAP of the night yesterday. They, they also did a joke how it was like fish monsters from other reality was fishing people or something like that. I think that's how it went. And they, they, they dropped him because they didn't want him. And he said that the monsters didn't want Chinese food. They did the, the Chinese joke twice. Let's see what in my bag I have for this bullshit for my brain. <laughs> Food? Can you get me water or I'll get myself water? I just I just want at the minimum water. You want me to continue? Yeah. Spiked by Tamoy. What? Not water spiked by Tamoy. But Tamoy water. Oh, there is some. 
<laughs> you want me to continue? Yeah. Was that centipede? Ivan walked through the corridor, now completely brain dead and under the sole control of SCP-378. He nodded his head at the man who passed him in the hallway. He turned into a room on the side of the corridor. The placard by the door read. The agents waited in the hangar as the KGB agents, who they referred to as Ivan, came walking back in. On the table, he placed a few rolls of 35 millimeter film containing top secret information on the new Soviets. What? Good. Very good, comrade. There's more, yes? Get it. Get all of it. Listen. So this face might be of the man you double-crossed. Do not forget who I actually am. We are on the same side. You will keep up your side of the bargains, yes? Of course. Lisa Martin won't be harmed. Lisa was the leverage. SCP-378's Achilles tendon. For whatever reason, she was his favorite instance, and although it could always make another, it caused it great distress when one was lost. What the they tried not to use her, but it was always in their back pocket. Their ace in the hole. Get Lisa Martin. That's not what she Don't you think like. you're jumping the gun here? Yeah. We haven't even asked the big old word whether it just do it for the asking. I want to let if it has any description. Because I'm pretty sure whatever they look like, it's not of a hot little Oh, it's a Mexican American. Yeah. Okay, does she look like a 33-year-old Mexican American or like a white hooker? <laughs> the second one. <laughs> because I'm going to be honest, the body isn't what makes me think that. It's how she's dressed. Would anyone of any gender be dressed like that in a pizza place if they work there? Unless they don't work there and they're a stripper posing as a worker. <laughs> We're ready to continue. Am I wrong? No. Okay, sorry, we can continue. Leverage. I don't want to wait for it if it disagrees. You know, you can be a truly lovely human being. Sometimes. You signed up for this, remember? The work is the most important factor. Not some brain-dead pizza girl whose only purpose in life now is to be our leverage. Chen shook his head. Look. We have Tremont in interrogation. Let's just start there. Bring him to my lab instead. I'll get they, an SCP-378-A instance and have a word with our slimy buddy. There's no need to threaten us. We acquiesce to your request. The man laid on the table, unconscious and drunk, vomit on his shirt and trailing out from his mouth. This is going to be a hell. They didn't get him at all, I, I believe. They, I think that's the guy from the beginning that they tr that they got drunk. Yeah, Agent. Uh, yeah, let's see. Agent Ryan, right? And uh, Rupert Tremont said, "Funny little guy." Agent FBI's unofficial unit was too was all too stupid to trust Agent Ryan's with his drink. You know what direction? After that, special interview at the six black room. That's to be down the gullet. Problem comes up when three seven eight tells us they can't establish a connection. Now Tremont's still alive, so that's not normal. We run a number of tests, trying to figure out what went wrong. So no, it wasn't Agent Ryan's who, who drank it. Robert Tremont drank it. But okay, it Robert Tremont. So. But yeah, they didn't take him to the SEP place, and he was already infected by a different centipede. Yeah. And not dead. To get an agent inside the <laughs> FBI's unusual incidents unit. Plus slowly dead. pried the man's mouth open and dropped the centipede into his mouth. I... That's not how they did it. No, it's not. How long does it take before you're in control? Not long. One moment, please. She closed her eyes as if in deep thought, then convulsed rapidly. She opened her eyes. I can't... What? I can't... communicate. What? Why? Is he dead? No, I just can't. I don't know. I can't reach him. It's like something's already in there, blocking me. Kloss put the man 
into the MRI and came back into the control room. What? Firing it up. Let's see just what's going on inside Mr. Tremont's little brain. Yeah, it's not. The image flickered to life and slowly came into focus. That's not how it happened. It's not. Not how it happened. Oh yeah, they also start doing this keep watching to the end. Where they just disregard this part, start talking about the anomaly, then show a bit what happened. They've been doing that. Yeah. yeah. Watch. SCP and boom, type of the anomaly. <laughs> is to be contained in a subterranean entity containment terrarium. Temperature and humidity are to be maintained at Why is there a button on the anomaly? Habitation of lichen and cave ants. I don't know. Access to SCP-378's containment terrarium is separated from the surrounding facility by a decontamination chamber. Handling personnel are required to wear full body protection and must be screened for SCP-378-A prior to exiting decontamination. Infected personnel are to be terminated. SCP-378 is an arthropod superficially resembling a deformed larval instance of Amazonian it's giant only centipede. SCP-378 yeah. legs are largely it's vestigial, primarily meant to assist long, in peristaltic locomotion. SCP-378 measures three meters from mouth to anus, with a bodily thickness of one meter and a weight of two. Yeah, they got the measurements correct. Grams. Under normal conditions, SCP-378 is an omnivore with a diet consisting primarily of lichen and insects. SCP-378 is capable of asexual reproduction at will, producing instances of SCP-378 that looks like. Do they? Like Are you okay, Jerry? That looks like two meters thick at minimum. <laughs> Yeah. Europe is laughing at us. They gave it a human butt. They gave it a human butt. From its anus. Instances of SCP 378 A resemble adult Amazonian giant centipedes. Dissection suggests their resemblance is superficial as SCP 378 A lack expected organ systems beyond a primitive neural network. Instances of SCP-378-A oh are my controlled God. remotely by SCP-378. SCP-378-A are obligate endoparasites, infecting advanced primates such as humans. Upon infection, SCP-378-A integrates itself with its host's nervous system through poorly understood means, inducing right. brain death and extinction. Do I just get very lucky? What? I'm just saying, I seem to get here for the videos they do the worst. <laughs> I was wondering if I was just too harsh. But no, after you talking about the other videos, I'm just lucky. Yeah. Okay, you can keep going. Extending SCP-378's remote control to the host itself. Vital functions and sensory input remain unaffected. Upon infecting a suitable host, SCP-378 will attempt to reintegrate its hosts into their respective species' social sphere. Once integrated, SCP-378 directs its host to indefinitely engage in the behaviors typical for its species, such as communal labor and social recreation. Human hosts prefer environments with a high population density and a robust entertainment scene. The upper limit of active hosts SCP-378 can maintain at any one time is unknown. Upon initial what? interrogation, SCP-378 confessed. Yeah? Where are they? Okay, never mind. To Before the existence. Oh, hold on.
Sorry about that. I'm back. Welcome back. I was just telling Spood about the mental damage that is the SVP content farm. Like, yeah. remember the one that was so stupid you took your glasses off last night? You just rolled over? Uh, did you just vanish into your... What the fuck would I call that? The dresser room? The clothes <laughs> room? Yes. The closet room, yes. The closet room. I'm going to call it a room because you can fit a bed in there. <laughs> Anyways, okay, you ready? Right. We're almost done with it. Are you ready? Yeah. ...of 26 human hosts. That old pickle again. Mind-controlling worms and double crosses. Have some respect, Professor. I am no worm, though I might resemble you. Yeah. And don't I that always feel... ...is an actual centipede that... I mean, the SCP isn't a centipede that exists in re the real world, but its appearance does. The yeah. real centipede is one that... ...its max height is around a foot, and I think this picture gives a good description of how big and thick they get in that it is not that big and it's so thick that it's almost as thick as a ruler so it's not even that thick that's that's the the, the height and thickness they have it at yeah. it's almost as thick as their wrist yeah so what is SCP about? It's an SCP where its main body is a larva looking uh, creature that's three meters long and one meter thick. It puts out things like that, only, you know, the actual size, not that big, over exasperated thing. And it takes control of host. The host becomes brain dead and it lives as it. As it. It basically experiences life through the hosts. Uh, and its favorite host is a 33-year-old Mexican-American woman <laughs> that works at a pizzeria. No one knows why. They've had hosts with more power and more wealth. They like that instant. Free pizza. You know what? That's valid. Free pizza, but also... <laughs> Oh man, I never thought of that free pizza, but anyway! <laughs> you ready to continue it and finish it? Yeah. When SCP Foundation ask me. Just be careful when you plan to betray someone. You might. Oh, look at this thumbnail on this video. The Hughes Garden of Pan Pan. Oh yeah, uh, before we cl you close that, can you go to the part where they show the their main instance? So we can see what they changed the Mexican American into. I have to find it. There we go. They they changed Whoa. her into a white hooker. They changed her into a white hooker? Oh my goodness! Is that oh a better way to describe God. that? What is going on in this person's brain? They might as well have the brain worms too. Maybe they think all Mexicans are hookers. Oh my goodness! Because I'm sorry, no person of any race will be dressed like that for a pizza shop. Unless you're like a fucking Hooters. There's no pizza version of Hooters. And Hooters doesn't do that anymore. Oh my goodness, I can't believe put them as a white hooker. Did they not read the SCP war very well? Nope. Well, just so you know, the range of judgments have been from 50%, it looks like, to 5% in accuracy, if I'm looking at that right. Yeah. <laughs> Removal of characters, they moved a lot of characters. Yeah, they did. 
Like the O5 is gone. <laughs> I mean, even if they put the license, they removed so many characters. Yeah. Even the ones they didn't fully remove, they altered. Yeah. Added gore or violence? Weirdly, that's like a one. Yeah. Yeah, as you can tell from the previous two, they didn't really add vi much violence recently. Yeah. Deviates from the plot that's a four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only men in the video? Well, no, they did include the female characters. <laughs> I think, oh, yeah. wait, they only included they... the female ones. Now that I realize it. <laughs> they did include them, but I think they deserve a two because you saw what they did to the Mexican-American. Yeah, They but... turned her from a woman working a normal job to a, a hooker in a pizza shop. They turned her into a hooker, and I can't unsee it. Thirty <laughs> percent. That's still a step up from the last ones I saw. 